What's up guys? Um, a lot of folks been asking me how do I lose weight so successfully? I can go, I can pretty much lose about, I would say 30 pounds in a span of two months. And so I wanted to just <clears throat> put it out there because I think I do it in a very healthy manner and I have my own system of accomplishing it. And I just wanted to kind of show you step by step what I do in order to lose so much weight in such a fairly short amount of time. Uh, first of all, if you're going to lose more than uh, 20 pounds per month, I think it's uh, it becomes dangerous and a lot of it could be water weight. But if you want to do it uh, in a very nice controlled manner, I think uh, losing something 20, 30 pounds in a few months, uh, I think it's um, definitely achievable. First of all, what I wanted to focus in this particular video is really uh, some of the things that I do before I actually begin losing weight. Um, as the supplements that I take in order to basically augment my progress because just working out and just having a good diet where it all starts but I think you can actually use several supplements to increase the effectiveness of your diet as well as um, your exercising in particular so number two number one thing that I use it's called conjugated linolenic acid or CLA and this is very uh, this is a, 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 from the bulk supplements I like it because it's probably the cheapest ones they send you 300 uh, gel packs uh, and it doesn't cost uh, a lot probably like, maybe like 20 bucks this is one of the most research research supplement in general uh, especially weight loss supplement out there and it certainly works uh, there is a statistical evidence that this particular supplement actually does help you lose weight majority though cla humans um humans uh already take from milk and uh, from basically from dairy and from meat so we get about uh, uh for for women about 150 milligrams we get a day and males get about 200 milligrams a day just from eating normal food and having a complete diet but it has proven to lose you uh, to help you lose weight if taken um three milligrams or higher there's been numerous studies done as a matter of fact cla has been researched because it was lowering the probability of you getting uh, diabetes uh, type 2 as well as um cancer and somehow there's a side effect that they came about to recognize that conjugated linoleic acid actually has properties of um, you um, of helping you to lose weight. Uh, once again, you got to take three grams at the very least. So these each gram each each one of these uh, soft gels is uh, one thousand milligrams, and it's recommended that you take two uh, one or two capsules two or three times daily. So basically six capsules. That's what I do. I wake up in the morning. I take two in the afternoon, and then at night. And it certainly, um, I think it does help. A few things to keep in mind. So this is just a trans fat, basically, a type of trans fat, but it's not like a bad trans fat, not industrial trans fat that Fox Nell is actually causes a lot of bad things uh, uh, for your health. Uh, this is a kind of a good trans fat. There's not too many side effects unless you really take uh, too much of it. You want to follow the guidelines. Uh, one thing to point out, um, very important that this particular supplement taps out at about six months. So it helps, it does its most work from uh, from zero to six months. After six months, uh, based on numerous studies, uh, supplementing with CLA is actually plateaus. And after six months, you stop losing weight. Just keep in mind, six months, you have to get off of it and kind of drop the levels and then make your body adjust and then you can recycle it uh, um, back up. So that's the first thing. Uh, that's the first thing I think that I take, which is I feel it's uh, very helpful um, in my uh, diet. Uh, the second supplement that I normally take, and it has mixed reviews, but I feel like it really does the job for me. Um, it's called Garcinia Cambodia, and this is a one of those tropical fruits. Actually, you can see it right here, um, and. All it does, it actually produces this acid. It actually does have acid in it. And that acid is responsible for blocking a particular enzyme in your body 
uh, that uh, causes basically hunger. And what it actually does, most important thing, is it blocks your the desire for you to want to eat and suppresses your appetite. Uh, obviously, if you're not disciplined, it's not going to help you. But uh, it's very also, uh, but, but it's important to understand if you're doing, for example, like intermediate fasting or something like this. So I do, for example, a combination of like intermediate fasting. Uh, more on that later. Uh, but uh, it, it it helps if you take, for example, something like before you go to sleep or in the morning. You take one of these or two of these uh, pills. It I feel like the appetite is somewhat um, easier. It, it's easier basically to get through when you're actually hungry because it suppresses your appetite. You feel like you don't want to eat. Anyways, uh, the dietary supplement, you take two veggie capsules twice a day. So in the morning, usually at night, I take uh, two of these and it just helps me not to want to eat. Um, I feel like it um, does its job and I highly recommend that. This one uh, together with conjugate, conjugated linoleic acid uh, as supplements. And finally, the third uh, supplement that directly has to do with me losing weight and helping me lose weight is it's this thing called Meritrim. So Meritrim is, and what it does, actually these guys, they tested a bunch of different herbs. Uh, to see which ones actually suppress the uh, fat uh, cells from basically multiplying and from getting additional fat. And they found out that they're, they call it proprietary blend, but it's like a three to one actually blend of uh, flower heads extract and fruit uh, rind extract of Garcinia mangostana as Ferrantus indicus. So these are the two herbs. I've never heard of them. I don't know. But I started using this probably three years ago. And I actually felt a difference uh, because I've tried a bunch of different herbal supplements to help me with uh, weight loss. And this particular it really like stuck with me. And uh, I felt like um, uh, it, it, did, it did help me uh, a lot to achieve my uh, target weight. Uh, this particular supplement, it says lose weight starting in two weeks. So it takes several weeks at least to get started. Uh, so what does it do? So this, w the company claims that this particular, this particular blend of two er herbs make it harder for fat cells, first of all, to multiply. And secondly, decrease the amount of um, fat that fat cells can actually absorb and also help fat, um, fat cells to burn fat when needed so fat cells basically release fat as quickly as possible allows it so it, it, it may, maybe just accelerates the release of fat from the fat cells and um so anyways i those are the three things that company has they, they've done clinical studies on this i'm not sure what it's you know um how accurate the studies are and how controlled they were for you know placebo effect etc but uh, the results were okay, and I feel like it does actually work. So those are the only three things as far as just just strictly uh, w what's helping me to A, to suppress the appetite, and B, to increase my metabolism, and C, to um, uh, f make my fat cells to basically not to contain fat as much as uh, maybe normally they would, uh, and break down fat a little bit easier. So those are the only three things, again, I recommend. Meritrim, talking about Garcinia Cambogia, as well as CLA. And I take those as directed, so I don't actually experiment too much. With this particular supplement, you take um, one capsule two times a day, 30 minutes before breakfast or dinner. So I, that's exactly what I do. I follow the instructions. So don't do anything um extra 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 right um so now i want to talk about once i covered those three things i want to talk about conceptually conceptually what i do and what helps me to uh, really uh change my diet and change the way i kind of my body um looks at maintaining the um, fat and losing losing weight in general uh, so first of all um, I do uh, intermediate fasting. For those who are not familiar, there's wealth of information on intermediate fasting. 
and you do you can do it different ways and uh but at the end of the day basically what it uh what it comes down to is that so you you have to select let's just say eight six hours or eight hours a day where you can actually have your meals and outside of those hours you cannot have any meals you cannot snack you cannot do anything so you just you eat just within the eight hour or six hour period it depending you can start with eight and then you can shrink it to six uh in my case i usually have dinner around 6 30 7 o'clock uh, p.m and after that i do not eat anything with one small exception i'll tell you what it is uh, i don't eat until 1 or 2 p.m the following day the only thing i do eat is egg whites and i'll explain why so losing weight it's not necessarily about uh losing calories like running around and doing stuff that increases your metabolism it does obviously burns calories but most important thing is maximizing the amount of growth hormone that you have in your blood and the amount of growth hormone that is released is usually happens overnight um, and another thing is uh, it, what's important to understand is the growth hormone interactions with um, insulin. While you have insulin in your body, let's say you just had a, a snack, you, you ate some chips or something, the insulin goes up and it suppresses the uh, growth hormone. And growth hormone is the one that is responsible for you actually trimming down. It's responsible for um, rebuilding those broken muscles, using proteins basically to rebuild your body. Uh, overnight and usually it happens overnight so if you go to sleep and you eat a bunch of carbs especially light carbs you know i just don't think uh it, for, for a long time that while insulin is still in your blood the growth hormones will not have enough time to do what it needs to do and usually only like 15 16 hour that's where it like peaks as far as the growth hormone is concerned it really starts to burn fat that's why intermediate fasting is so important um, is uh, part of your normal normal sort of um, uh, regimen as far as your when you're trying to lose weight in particular. Um, so one thing I do is um, one thing I do actually is there's been some studies done that uh, protein actually stimulates the uh, production of uh, some enzymes and some uh, hormones uh, that helps you lose weight overnight. Uh, so although my last meal is around 6 p.m., 6.30 p.m., sometimes 7, right before I go to sleep, what I do, I have, I boil two eggs, I throw the yolks out, and I have just whites of those eggs, and I eat two egg whites uh, of, from the boiled eggs right before I go to sleep. So what it does, it actually helps you to release hormone that is responsible for burning fat while you're asleep. So that's one thing that I do. As far as my diet is concerned, I wake up in the morning, I drink coffee or drink tea without any sugar, without any adding any milk naturally. Uh, another cornerstone of the diet that I actually do is I'm generally speaking, people ask you, oh, what do you eat and whatnot, right? Because you actually do need uh, you actually do need to have a normal diet. So you cannot just uh, stop eating carbs altogether. You cannot stop because you need carbs to burn fat. You need carbs to uh, actually make you lose weight. So you do need carbs. You just need a limited amount and not very often. So insulin levels are always steady throughout uh, you losing weight. Uh, so what's uh, what I do is the, the rule that I use that I don't eat anything that is white um, outside of basically cheese is what uh, what not i eat that uh but i do not eat um uh, naturally what's white like i don't eat uh, uh, sugar i don't eat anything that flour based and i don't eat any simple carbs like rice etc so if you want to eat some carbs uh, i would substitute for example rice i usually substitute rice brown rice white rice it actually doesn't matter uh common misconception I substitute rice for either quinoa or buckwheat. Those two grains are fantastic. So those are actually as, as far as your intake is concerned, but much greater emphasis is on, um, on vegetables, much greater emphasis on just lean meats. 
right? And just some carbs to help you break that fat down. So no white stuff. So what I talk about white, I'm talking about sugar, I'm talking about all the doughy stuff. So no, obviously, no bread of any kind, no pasta, no, um, no pastas, no donuts, in basically anything that is white, simple carbs and sugar, you don't eat it, right? Uh, what I do eat, my, my typical, my typical uh, lunch then is going to be some sort of salad with a bit of maybe quinoa. Uh, it, I, I can put in cheese, cheese is no problem, and maybe like uh, chicken breast or some lean uh, meat. It, it's all it's all good uh, as long as again you are only eating within that um, six to eight hour window that you're assigned for me it's from two to let's just say seven that like five hour window that i'm utilizing right so that's pretty pretty much all um as far as um another sacrifice is what i'm talking about is you have to one of the most important things you have to do and it's really hard for me to do because i actually like to drink wine I'd like to drink just casually with friends. It's no alcohol. So what I do, I I actually stop drinking alcohol throughout the week. And when the weekend comes, I allow myself to uh, drink, let's say uh, one time, maybe Saturday night or Friday night, whatnot. I allow myself to drink, but uh, it also has to do what kind of alcohol you drink. So instead of having beers, beers are absolutely positively you cannot do. Uh, I swap for uh, very dry white wine. So I'm talking about the Pinot Grigio that basically has zero sugar. You know, although it does have some calories, I think it's the healthiest drink you can drink is just a white, dry white wine. It can be Sauvignon Blanc, can be Chardonnay, can be Pinot Grigio. Uh, any of those wines are kind of fine, so I substitute for those. I definitely don't drink uh, vodka, whiskey, cognac, any of those stuff, and certainly not beer. Beer is a killer. Like if you drink beer and you try to lose weight, it's not going to happen. First of all, that it's it prompts for a male. If you're a male, your body will um, produce a lot more estrogen that needed, and that's why even the type of um, the type of uh, way your body is going to, the type of fat that you're gonna, your body is going to accumulate is going to be not like, uh, is going to be around your chest and it's just not going to look beer belly around your chest. It's obviously not something that you don't want to do. So alcohol is a big one for me. Just not, say no to it and not be in the... Uh, another thing I wanted to say is this, even if you have, you allocated that six hour window for you to eat, let's just say from one to seven or from one to eight or from two to seven like i do um you absolutely positively cannot snack in between so if you have a meal you can have for example three meals you can have you can have one meal you eat like a salad or something and then at night your dinner is going to be um another meal you can i eat a lot more fish i eat a lot a lot more salads um i eat a lot more avocados and any kind of um any kind of natural fats, uh, by natural I mean any kind of like avocado fats or uh, nuts, whatever, it's it's okay. But nuts are very heavy in calories. So, I mean, I wouldn't go crazy on nuts, but um, that's something that you can just put in your salad with nuts. But don't put like the bread crumbs, don't put anything of that nature because bread is white, so it's excluded. You can't eat that. But in between those meals, you absolutely positively cannot snack. And that goes back to what I was saying before. You want to try, you want to think about weight loss is the fight to keep your insulin levels suppressed for as long as possible. And every time you uh, get yourself out of so-called ketosis, whatnot, or that level where your insulin is actually suppressed and your carbs are low, uh, whether you're in ketosis or not, you actually cannot inject anything that is going to be even remind the sugar so like you can't even do xylitol and one of those sugar substitute because your brain thinks it's sugar and it still releases insulin and even if you try like a gum or a tic tac that says oh it's just one calorie in one tic tac well yes there is one calorie and there is no sugar but there is a bunch of sugar substitutes in there so your brain registered as sugar and it still releases insulin in that case, it suppresses your hormone levels of 
growth hormone and obviously you cannot gain uh you cannot lose weight as efficiently as we'd like to so again think of weight loss not calorie counting you just have moderate you have to have enough calories to operate to go work out it depends on your level if you're an athlete if you train all the time at least 2000 calories you still have to intake those calories but those calories cannot be simple sugars cannot be simple carbs right so like i said substitute potatoes fries all that kind of stuff you cannot eat pasta cannot eat all the dough all flour based you can absolutely cannot eat substitute that uh with rice um, uh, with buck sorry not rice buckwheat substitute that with quinoa uh so you cannot snack uh and um finally uh what i wanted to say you have to supplement if you work out and you don't want to lose your body mass because uh while you're trying to lose uh lose fat a lot of the times and i'm speaking for like athletes they actually don't want to get weaker uh they don't want to get weaker and they don't want to lose uh mass while losing the body fat right and in order to accomplish that you actually have to increase your uh intake of protein slightly however if you're and uh, i'll talk more about it i'm actually doing i'm actually entering my body artificially into ketosis while i'm doing the um while i'm doing intermediate fasting um one thing you, you have to be careful with is that if you eat too much protein uh too much that your body requires uh, there is a very good possibility that your body is going to start breaking protein into um, uh, kind of get you out of ketosis because protein can also be broken, I believe, into carbs. Uh, so um, that will get you out of ketosis very quick. So if you are very protein heavy, um, the body can still get get you kicked out of ketosis. Um and you won't be able to kind of maintain that, uh, like I said, low insulin level where ketosis actually prompts you to break down fats versus simple carbs. Uh, so more about ketosis. Uh, but before I move on to ketosis, uh, I wanted to say how I add supplement, uh, how I add more protein to my diet during the times where I do extra hard uh, workouts at the gym particularly when I go and do, for example, legs, back, and do like real hardcore workouts. Um, I'm using this particular brand and um, liquid. It's 26 grams of protein uh, to go. It's ready to use. Um, so this particular, it's from uh, Lawrence uh, Sports Division, Omnirib.com. You can, you can find these things on Amazon and I find this super useful and um, it's, it's about 100 calories, each one of these. And as I mentioned before, uh, it has 12.5 uh, grams of sodium. Sodium is good for you when you work out um, because you lose sodium. It has zero sugars and has uh, 26 grams of protein. Uh, there is some formula of how much protein you need, but if you already uh, if you actually do intake meat, uh, for example, you eat fish, you eat chicken, you eat steaks, like lean steaks, lean proteins, uh, you don't need that much extra unless you're a bodybuilder. Since I'm not a bodybuilder, all I'm trying to do is maintain my current state of muscle mass. I don't need to load up on the protein more than I need to. I only use 26 grams for me after workout. That's all I need. So if I do like a hardcore, like today I went and I did, for example, um, heavy workout on legs. Uh, right after that, I have this uh, aerobic window where actually my body is um, 30, about 30 minutes after the workout. I go and I drink one of these uh, um, one of these vials. Uh, of protein 26 grams plenty for me and it actually suppresses my appetite and i uh, do not want to eat anything after i um, drink one of these at least for several hours um, after uh, until your body kind of burns through the calories and just maybe will want some more calorie uh, calories to, to be added to the um to your, to the body so anyways um, this is as far as the protein supplementation. So don't overdo protein. Just do enough to keep your muscle mass in check, right? So, so you don't lose your muscle fat and focus really on uh, losing fat versus um, your 
um, versus your uh, um, muscles versus proteins, right? Um, so more about ketosis. And I said before, so I actually do intermediate fasting. A lot of folks, there's also wealth of information available on how to uh, get your body into ketosis. Um, I tried keto ketogenic diets several times and I thought it was super hard for me to do the, the conventional way, which just pound, um, be pounding uh, a lot of like fats and constant fats and eat all that uh, nasty produce, which I don't really uh, enjoy eating like butter and you know other stuff, uh, bacon constantly uh, to get your body into ketosis, which is obviously beneficial, but I feel like you, you, because you, your intake of all those um, high, uh, with high levels of bad cholesterol, like LDL, um, because you, your intake is so high, I think you constantly have to monitor the levels of LDL. And I don't know how uh, good it is for your body to be taking on so much uh, negative cholesterol, so much bad cholesterol while you are uh, doing uh, the conventional uh, keto diet. So instead of doing the conventional keto diet and to and uh, but still have that energy that comes with that conventional keto diet and your body being in ketosis for the time when you're actually not eating, which for me is from 6 p.m. to 2 uh, p.m. of next day, what I do, I started to supplement. I, I found out that you can get actually uh, something resembling ketosis and even put your body into ketosis. With this kind of you bypass that whole process by supplementing by keto salts. So this is the one I take. I think this is um, uh, this is uh, 300 milligrams of exogenous ketones per serving. So uh, really, uh, if you would like to do more research, uh, really do more research on exo exogenous ketones and how to supplement with this. Uh, so these particular ones have three most um, three most common uh, salts: magnesium uh, beta hydroxybutyrate, uh, calcium beta hydroxybutyrate, and sodium beta hydro uh, hydroxybutyrate. So those are the three salts. Um, each of them, uh, each pill contains um, 1,000 milligrams of those salts. If you take this, and usually I take it either before I go to sleep or as soon as I wake up, because as soon as I wake up, I already need to go and work out. I need to perform. I need to I need to do some um, some activity like brain activity because I have to work. I have to memorize stuff. I have to learn stuff. I have to research stuff. So I feel like I need that energy. And sometimes just a cup of coffee is not enough. You actually do need energy, and your body exhausted uh, majority of your energy overnight, right? So you uh, so you need something extra especially if you are going to go to the gym in the morning or maybe at, at, at lunch and you still haven't had any food and the first food intake is going to be at two o'clock i feel getting your body into ketosis using salts go a long way uh so uh this is the brand that i use i bought it on amazon it's available on amazon so anyone can buy it no problem and i feel that it's very good uh, stuff and it really helps me um, uh, eliminates the, uh, the cravings, which are already suppressed by using uh, Garcinia Cambogia. And then uh, your body really just able to switch to burning fat as a primary source of uh, fuel. Uh, so you can get your body into ketotic, ketotic, uh, a ketogenic state by using salts fairly easy. And this is the brand I use. Again, I, it can be any brand as long as kind of you diversify and use the most common salts. Uh, so once again, Keto BHB Ketones by Peak Performance. Highly recommend. Take, uh, take two uh, capsules in the morning and two capsules before going to sleep. So while you sleep, while this process of kind of burning... Uh, fat is going on, you, 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 you could potentially end up in a ketogenic state, which will accelerate that, the, all of those processes. So what I said so far is does apply to um, anyone who would like to lose weight, combine this particular uh, diet and uh, with exercising to just increase the, uh, to, to jack up the metabolism a little bit. And uh, you don't actually have to do like really hardcore workout. I feel like just walking a long distance at the uh, fast pace is, could be enough because diet does most of the heavy lifting. 
Uh, exercising obviously helps a lot, helps your metabolism, helps to burn calories. But all of that, the calorie intake, it's all about just stabilizing your hormones. Uh, a lo loss of weight, again, people think it's all about working out hard, but there is a numerous amount of uh, people that I know personally that uh, they train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, they go to the gym, they work out constantly, and they still have excess body fat. So because their hormone, the, the foods that they take, as well as um, the, uh, the hormones are not balanced the way they should be balanced. And that's why they actually struggling to lose that weight. The next thing I want to talk about is one other supplement, just one other supplement that helps me a lot, especially uh, when I go and work out, uh, besides basically all these other things that I described, because all these other things, they're not necessarily for athletes and anyone can do it to lose weight, right? But for athletes in particular, I highly recommend taking creatine. And, but there is one caveat. I, I don't want you to take a normal uh, creatine monohydrate. The reason why, because creatine monohydrate, if you take it, hey, you have to load it up. So there's a stage of, low, although it gives you energy, it gives you strength, it gives you all these, and actually trims you, uh, body makes you uh, lose weight also much faster. Uh, one thing it does is two things actually is one you have a loading phase and you all you have to take it for a while before it kind of kicks in and number two is the water retention and the water retention is the big one because you're trying to lose weight you try to kind of uh, dry up your body a little bit and, uh, and make it look uh, shredded where uh, monohydrate actually what it does it keeps all the water in your muscles so you and you look good not look you look bigger you become your muscles look bigger but if you haven't trimmed your fat yet then you're just gonna look like track you know you're gonna look um you're not gonna go look lean because you're trying to lose uh you gotta lose weight first and then you're gonna expand your muscles but if you expand your muscles with a bunch with you know 20 percent fat on the outside that's not gonna look good, right? So uh, in order to get the benefits of creatine and uh, where creatine is fantastic uh, pre-workout supplement, recommend it to anyone, anyone who competes, again, it, I feel like it really does increase your strength and it's been proven to increase strength. And, um, but you don't want to, to uh, go through the loading stage as well as you don't want to feel bloated all the time. You don't want to have problems with your stomach where you feel like it's like, it, it, it's just, it, there's a lot of side effects of having, uh, of taking creatine monohydrate. I highly recommend this creatine HCL, which is, this is what it looks. And this is the brand that I, uh, I, 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 I use personally from R&D Body. Um, so it's, um, create, create 750 milligrams of creatine hydrochloride. Again, creatine hydrochloride. This particular creatine, A, you don't need to load up. You need to take just one or two pills, uh, one pill or rather 750 milligrams per uh, 100 LBS of muscle mass. You take this. So for me, I, I'm always pushing 200. So I need to take two pills before I go work out. But A, you don't need to uh, preload. You can actually just take right before the workout. And number two, it actually doesn't make you bloated. It doesn't make you uh, retain water, which is super important as well. Because if you're an athlete, for example, if you have to get, uh, you're losing weight for a competition, uh, in my case for Brazilian Jiu Jitsu competition, and I need to lose 10, 20, sometimes 30 pounds. Um, the last thing I want is my is my uh, body to retain all this weight where you you're losing the fat but then so much water in your muscles that actually you you, you get on a scale and you weigh even more than you you weighed before you lost uh, fat loss program so obviously it's counterproductive you don't want to do it unless you have a boatload of time where you can kind of do both and then um, and then swap out of it but anyways uh, long story short creatine HCL is the way to go if you want to supplement and uh, hit the gym real hard and have kind of gains work uh, maintain your muscles with the protein whatnot get stronger get faster and um, increases your stamina as well and uh, and I did not have any cramps I did not have any bad effects with this thing 
One thing I want to actually point out, unlike creatine monohydrate, this one is, a, is, a, is, is, is an acid, so it actually feels like an acid. And a lot of the, a lot of the times, uh, P folks sell this not in capsules, not in those gelatin capsules, but in, as a scoop, like you scoop and you put in your favorite drink or whatnot. I would not recommend it because that's, I, got, I got this particular creatine um, in the powder form. I could not drink it. It's like drinking like straight up acid. And it doesn't matter if you dissolve it in, uh, even in like a glass of orange juice, it will still feel disgusting. So it, it, like regular creatine, I can just eat it even normally because it's not um, acidic. This one is super acidic and I highly recommend you get it in the capsule form. So you can just pop two, drink a glass of milk or glass some, get some water and be ready uh, to go and work out. To, so um, to kind of sum it all up, uh, once again, supplement with um, CLA, don't exceed uh, recommended dose of, uh, supplement with um, uh, ketogenic, uh, keto, I'm sorry, Garcinia Cambodia, Cambodia, right? For appetite suppression, supplement with Meritream. This is my favorite one for, um, for uh, losing fat. It, I think it works. And uh, again, you start with um, intermediate fasting. Your intermediate fasting, you select five, six, whatever, three, let's say as, as little as many hours uh, to normally is just half lunch and half dinner. During those times, no snacking in between. So you can't have like a gum, you can't snack, you can't just have like a croissant or something uh, while still uh, supplementing with uh, protein and getting enough protein so you don't lose your muscle mass. Uh, besides that, I would get exogenous ketones. And I, when, when you're not eating, I would supplement with this. So I would take two of these in the morning and two of those uh, when you wake up to make sure your body artificially put into the ketosis, all right? Very important. No white stuff, no rice, no dough, no pasta, um, no, um, no alcohol is the big one. You can do it once a week, but lean towards dry, white, dry wines, right? You have to do some research to eliminate sugar from your thing because sugar is the biggest um, detractor from all of this uh, weight losing uh, because again, it's all about hormones and sugar jack up your insulin. So anything that, uh, any, pro any produce that you eat has to be low glycemic index. And if you're in doubt, there is a lot of uh, wealth of information on Google. Just look at, um, you can Google a particular product or you can Google like just print out a table um, that has this glycemic index. So you'll see, well, rice has glycemic index as such, but if you were to substitute with buckwheat, which has much lower glycemic index, right? Although it's still a grain, um, those are the kind of substitutions that you actually have to take. Um, you actually have to, um, take and you have to be able to do so it actually if you're not a healthy eater to begin with those are the things you actually have to um, have to research a little bit and get more custom with because there's a lot of hidden foods that you might think it's okay uh, but it's it has pounds of sugar um, another thing uh, almost forgot another thing you actually have to either completely eliminate or you actually have to lower to the minimum the fruit intake. And I, I learned that from uh, Tim Ferriss's for our body. Um, and I start to thinking about it. Yes, it might not be sugar. For some reason, some, 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 some folks actually think that uh, sugar is bad, but um, like circles and all that, uh, that present in in uh, uh and fruit and uh and fruit is actually good for you but it's not so uh if you eat a bunch of for example grapes or something it's as bad as drinking a um, coca-cola you know and something like coca-cola soda like you obviously cannot take any of that this is killer beer coca-cola any kind of uh, fountain drinks fruit is important do not eat a lot of fruit either completely take it out of your um um, rationing at all 
or if you want to have an apple once in a while, you can have something like apple, but certainly not like uh, grapes, mangoes, uh, watermelons. All of those have so much fructose that is converted to, you know, and it just, it, it's still, it's still kind of, it's still not positive as far as your uh, hormonal balance. It doesn't maximize the production of growth hormone. And that's is really what we are focused here on on maximizing growth hormone production that will um, help you trim your body and get uh, to the point where your body is um, what you want it to be. I just started the um, the weight loss uh, myself. Today is the first day I um, did not have any food. I just had a little bit of ketones in the morning and I had protein and I already had a workout. Uh, during lunchtime, so my first um, it's already 3 30 and I still haven't had any food so you can see I because I feel comfortable I don't need to eat at two o'clock so normally I would eat at two o'clock but just because I my body feels like I don't want to eat I don't eat so if you're an intermediate fasting for example and you know that the the, the, the last time you eat is 7 for example p.m. but then the first time you eat is 2 p.m. But at two comes two p.m. But you feel like you don't really want to eat. Don't. You know you don't have to force your body to eat. If your body is like, okay, you know what? I'm actually feeling. Uh, I am feeling like I need some food intake. Then go ahead, of course. But otherwise, you know, you, you can just skip a meal. You know, it's not a problem. And maybe uh, I, I could potentially eat at four and then at seven again, smaller portions, or. I can just skip it entirely and if I feel still feel good and I feel like I don't want to eat, I can just have dinner and that's all I'm going to eat. Uh, and don't forget two egg whites right before you go to sleep. Game changer. Super secret. Nobody knows about it except you. That's why you're going to lose weight if you're going to follow these instructions. If you guys have any questions and you want, um, you have any questions as far as uh, maybe mixing it with other supplements or what works, what doesn't work, please write in the comments. I would I would love to um, answer your questions. Once again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian, but I consistently lose 30 pounds every single year. And I'll put a picture right here. Uh, consistently lose two months, three months. It takes me to go from 95 pounds down to 65 pounds easily, right? And it doesn't really require any... Uh, me starving my body or working out like crazy, you know, it's it's all about balancing your hormones, cleaning up your diet, right, eating the right food at the right time, and keeping your body in this level of um, uh, of um, somewhat in ketosis, sometimes in ketosis, sometimes not in ketosis, but doing everything the right way, right? And if you do it the right way, if you do it my way, I guarantee you that you will see results, all right? Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, subscribe, more, more stuff to come and uh, let me know about uh, your success. Awesome.